in this world, it's very, very hard to accept yourself and to love yourself. Because today, with all of the fashion and media, people are falling all of the time to try to compare themselves to someone else. You see people that are dressing in a certain way, that are talking in certain ways, that look in a certain way. And you always think to yourself, maybe I need to change, maybe something is wrong with me. You see someone that is very successful, that is surrounded with, with wealthy people, with smiling people, with, with well-dressed people. And you say to yourself, okay, so maybe if I'm going to dress like him, if I'm going to talk like him, if I'm going to do something like he's doing... So Maybe I'm also going to be happy. <clears throat> maybe I'm also, <clears throat> if I'm going to cough like him, maybe I'm also going to have my, <clears throat> thank you very much. Maybe I'm also going to receive a cup of tea. It's written, Ashir, who is a rich person? The one that is happy with his share. Great. How do you know what your share is? There is another verse that completes that sentence, that verse. And the verse is saying, Ki Hashem amo. That Hashem Itbarach, He is the share of His people. Your share is your connection to Hashem. That's your share. Your evil inclination, your Yetzer those are the things that are dividing you from Hashem. But your share, your part, is your connection to Hashem. And only you can know exactly what really is connecting you to Hashem. Because only you can tell if by praying Shacharit early, you felt inspired, and you felt like, wow, it helped me to come closer to Hashem, or not. Or maybe it's not my hours, and it confused me, and now I feel so lost, and all of this day going wrong, and, and, and I feel that it's only because I woke up too early for myself. Only you can tell what happens to you after you say the day of Tehillim. If you read a few long chapters of Tehillim today, only you will have the answer to tell if really it connected you to Hashem and you felt illumination and inspired and happy and full and wow, I'm so satisfied, I'm so happy, I'm so glad I have such a huge gratitude to Hashem that I was able to, to say to Hilim and to read or that you feel like, what am I doing? I'm not so sure what am I doing. Is, is that real religion? Is that that's my life? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I'm just going to read another verse and another verse and is it really taking me something somewhere only you can say the truth both of us we can say the same chapters of Tehillim and we're gonna have complete different feelings about it so you need to find yourself in the Avodat Hashem and it's true we're all obligated to keep to our mitzvot and that's great we all need to do as much as we can like the verse is saying you should do as much as you can with your power. But it is written that you should find what your powers are. Because if you see that you're doing too much, it's also not good. There are two reasons why a person can fall to sadness. Or that he is not doing enough, or that he is taking too much on himself. In both of the cases, the person will not going to be happy. How do you know if you're doing what that you're supposed to do in Avodat Hashem while serving Hashem? If you're happy. The verse is saying, Pikudei Hashem Yesharim Mesamchelev. When you're serving Hashem in a straight way, in a right way, then it brings happiness to your heart. So if you're not happy, so you're doing something wrong. Or that you took too much on yourself, or that you haven't found yourself yet in Avodat Hashem and you're just doing other things that are not pleasing you that are not bringing you to real happiness and we are obligated to find the root of happiness the source of joy while serving Hashem because that is the real will of the Creator from us 
like that the verse is saying, that HaKadosh Baruch Hu, the Creator, is telling His nation, Al asher lo avadetem oti v'simcha. I'm upset with you, because you were not serving me with joy. So we were, you, we were serving Him, but we were not happy. So He was not happy from our serving. No matter what we did, it was an important generation. It was the generation of Moshe. We were doing so much. We were putting so much effort in keeping Torah and Mitzvot. But we were not happy. So if we were not happy, Hashem is not happy with what that we did. Because if you're not happy, it means that you're going in the wrong direction. You're not going straight. You're not going closer to Hashem. Emuna Project is a non-profit organization. To support this work, please make a purchase from our online store or donate through emuna.com. Thank you.